हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरीवन टू द क्विक सॉल्यूशंस ऑफ ऑल इंडिया आकाश टेस्ट सीरीज मेडिकल 2020 टेस्ट नंबर टू फिजिक्स कोड ई एंड एफ टेस्ट डेटेड 17 नवंबर 2019 एंड आई एम हियर टू डिस्कस द फिजिक्स पोर्शन सो हियर वी गो विद क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एवरीवन सो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ ब्लॉक कैपिटल ए एंड कैपिटल बी कनेक्टिंग थ्रू अ लाइट स्ट्रिंग पासिंग ओवर अ स्मूथ पुल्ली एज शोन इन फिगर रेस्पेक्टिवली आर given that g equals 10 meter per second square now we have to calculate the acceleration of block a and b let's see block b is heavier so it goes down with an acceleration a let us assume now since a is connected with block b directly so a will go up with the same magnitude of acceleration a now this magnitude of acceleration a can be given as a barabar m2 minus m1 divided by m2 plus m1 multiplied by g where m2 is heavier mass putting the values from the question into given expression we have 2 minus 1 upon 2 plus 1 multiplied by g and after solving we will get the value of acceleration a as 10 by 3 meter per second square now the magnitude of both a and b will be same and that is equal to 10 by 3 meter per second square we will go with option number 2 which is absolutely correct moving on to the next question that is question number 2 so here we have question number 2 everyone a small ball of mass 10 kg is moving with speed 4 meter per second collides elastically with another ball of mass 6 kg at rest if the collision is head on then the respective speed of the balls after the collision will be what since the collision is elastic so e will be given by 1 now let us consider the situation before collision bigger ball smaller ball this one is 10 kg this one is 6 kg 6 kg is at rest 10 kg is moving with 4 m per second speed now after the collision let us assume the speed of the balls are v1 and v2 respectively so situation can be given as this one as v1 this one as v2 10 kg 6 kg now the momentum of the system will be conserved and we can write linear momentum will be conserved therefore we can write initial momentum is equal to final momentum that is 4 into 10 is equal to 10 v1 plus 6 v2 solving further we get 20 is equal to 5 v1 plus 3 v2 consider is equation number 1 now one more information is given that is e equal to 1 e equals 1 means velocity of separation is equal to velocity of approach means we can write v2 minus v1 that is velocity of separation should be equal to velocity of approach that is simply 4 multiplied by 5 both sides in order to solve we get 5v2 minus 5v1 is equal to 20 equation number 2 solving 1 and 2 we have the value of v1 and v2 that is v1 equal to 1 meter per second and v2 is 5 meter per second so this is our final answer we can say that option number 1 is absolutely correct so we will go with option number 1 only moving on to the next question that is question number 3 so here is question number 3 everyone a conservative force of minus 3 i cap newton acts on a body of mass 3 kg the change in potential energy of the body due to the force when it undergoes a displacement of 6 i cap meter will be what now we know very well change in potential energy is related with the conservative force as delta u is equal to minus of fc dot 
R, where F C is conservative force and R is displacement. Delta U is equal to minus F C is given minus three I cap dot. Displacement is given six I cap. Now six three the eighteen minus minus become plus. We will get eighteen joule as our answer. So change in potential energy will be eighteen joule. Option number two we will go with. Moving on to the next, that is question number four. So here is question number four, everyone. The moment of inertia of uniform solid sphere of mass m and radius r about an axis which is tangent to the sphere will be what? We know very well that the moment of inertia of a solid sphere about its center of mass will be given by I C. That is equal to two by five m r square. m is mass r is radius of sphere now we have to calculate the moment of inertia about an axis parallel to this ic and tangent to the sphere given as i if this distance is r we simply can apply the parallel axis theorem to calculate this i which is given as i barabar ic plus mr square now put the value of ic we have i equals 2 by 5 mr square Plus m r squared simply. Solving it gets you seven by five m r squared. So it means we will go with option number two, which is absolutely correct. Moving on to the next question, that is question number five, everyone. So here we have question number five. A block of mass ten kg rests on a horizontal rough surface. Coefficient of friction between block and surface is one upon under root two. The minimum force required to move the block horizontally is what? Given that g is equal to 10 meter per second square, now we must be knowing the expression for minimum force required to move the block horizontally on a rough surface is given by F minimum equals mu times mg whole divided by under root one plus mu square. Now let's put the value of all the data given in expression, and we'll get F minimum is equal to mu that is one upon under root two, m that is ten, gravity also ten divided by under root one plus one upon under root two whole square. After solving, we will get this value F minimum that is minimum force required to move the block on this rough surface will be hundred. Divided by under root three newton. It means we will go with option number four only. Moving on to the next, that is question number six. 